Hey everyone, so today we're fishing at beautiful Red Lake just outside of Kamloops, British Columbia. It's roughly around four and a half hour drive from Vancouver. Um, this is just one of many, many lakes in the Thompson Nicola region where you can fly fish and bait fish in the summertime as well as ice fishing in the wintertime. Um, so, and like some of the other fisheries that we've uh, done before, some of the other lakes we've visited, which are monocultural fisheries, meaning that only one particular species is stocked in that lake. Um, there's usually rainbow trout, either rainbow trout or cutthroat trout or brook trout in these lakes. Um, but for this particular lake, they actually have put in um, several different species by the Freshwater Fisheries Society BC. Um, there are brook trout, there's also two different um, strains of rainbow trout, two different varieties of rainbow trout, including uh, Fraser Valley rainbow trout and Panas rainbow trout. So having this variety um, makes the fishery much more exciting. Um, you just never know what you'll be catching. So in the past, if you've been following our videos, um, in the past I have always been fishing mostly from the boat and many of you have asked, um, well, where can you do this type of fishing from shore? Uh, where, where can you go to your lake where you can cast from shore and catch fish uh, successfully as well? So today, what I thought is, we'll do a little bit of, um, do a little video fishing on the floating dock and hopefully we'll get into some fish. So at a lake like this, um, you don't necessarily need to be really far to be catching fish. I mean, on a boat, um, having a boat doesn't really mean you, you have to be all the way out to be catching a lot of fish um, but you, the boat is advantageous so that you can move to different spots to find where, where the spots are productive um, but in fact most of the fishing most of the fish are caught right pretty close to shore um, this morning when I came down here I could see fish jumping around everywhere um, right right in front of the floating dock um, they're rolling they were feeding and I made two casts, and the second cast I caught a little uh, brook trout around one and a half pound. So you don't you don't have to go pretty far. So the first technique I'm using just uh, I'm just casting a little spoon or spinner out and retrieving really slowly. Um, as you've seen some of the videos we've done on the coastal lakes, catching cutthroat trout and rainbow trout on and spoons and spinners. Um, those cutthroat trout and rainbow trout are really aggressive on artificial lures because they imitate the little minnows and uh, little fish that they feed on. Um, but when you come to these interior lakes, most of these fish, they're primarily insect feeders. So they feed on uh, the nymph, the, the nymph stage of the, um, of the aquatic insects around here. And there's plenty of them. So lures don't work as well as, let's say, fly fishing for using fly patterns that imitate these insects. But they do work. Um, you, you, you're basically looking for um, these reactionary uh, strikes from these fish. So if you keep casting into where the fish are rising, eventually you will get a bite. Eventually you will get a hook up. Nothing right now. I've made about 10, 20 casts and I saw, I've seen the odd fish jumping. Nothing so far. It's probably because it's in the middle of the day and it's nice and bright. So the fish are not, the fish are more cautious. But it's fishing, it's not catching, so you, you can't expect to be catching fish right away. I could see the little tiny um, tiny trout following it, or just kind of snapping on the lure, but we're looking for the really bigger ones. Um, the, the fish that we're targeting, the brook trout and rainbow trout, can range between uh, one pound, four pound, or even bigger. Some of the brook trout in this lake can get up to eight, 10 pounds, um, depending on which year class they're from. So. What happens is the hatchery will come in and put the fish in here at the yearling size. And after one year, because the productivity of these legs is so high, um, they'll, they'll grow, they'll gain one or two pounds. By the second year they spend in the leg, they'll become three or four pounds or five pounds. And uh, by, if they haven't been caught, they haven't been killed, uh, they'll, they'll live to the third year, the fourth year, and they'll get even bigger to the eight to 10 pound range. So, you have a variety of sizes and different types of fish to catch and if you're using a light setup, you just never know. Um, you might get a really big fish on here and that can be quite a thrill. Well, I've been trying this for about an hour now and I uh, haven't really had any decent bites. So I think I'm going to stop and try this again tomorrow morning, early in the morning and see if that'll work better. Perhaps 
um, early in the morning, um, the fish, are, the bigger fish are less cautious. I'm pretty sure the lures work. It's more just the timing of the day. It's roughly around 11 o'clock in the morning now, and uh, the, the rises that we saw earlier um, this morning um, have all disappeared. So obviously not as many fish are around. They have all gone to lunch somewhere else. So we're gonna go have lunch and uh, get the kids and bring some bait out here and try again and see if we can get some fish on bait and uh, try this lure again, perhaps tonight, this evening or tomorrow morning and hopefully we can get some video and show it to you guys. Good morning. So it's uh, roughly around 7 o'clock right now and uh, the lake is just flat calm. I'm giving it another go today. Yesterday we um, tried it in the evening. I did get into a couple of fish, uh, but I lost them all. And that's just the way it is when it comes to fishing. Um, they never made it to the net and so there are fish around. Um, they were all brook trout, didn't catch any rainbow trout. So I'm hoping there'll be a few more sticking around this area so we can get them on the line again. So when you're fishing from shore, because you don't have the luxury of moving around like when you're on a boat, um, you're fishing for fish uh, that are just cruising around and by casting or retrieving a spoon to the same place, you're just hoping that the fish will be cruising along and just happen to see it and you'll intercept it. Um, so it is slightly more challenging than boat fishing, just because you have to stick to the same spot. But there are a few things you can do that you can improve your catch success. Um, so timing of the day, I'm choosing to fish around this early in the morning right now before even having breakfast, just so that the fish are not as spooked. They're, they're more cautious. The sun is not really too high up yet. Um, you're looking for any surface activities, looking for rises. So we saw some over here before. Um, that means there are fish around here. So we decided to come over here and make a few catches to improve our chances. And the third thing would be definitely to have a variety of techniques that you can try out. So we're trying some spin casting right now. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> oh, we don't need to switch the technique then. <laughs> but you can try bait fishing or fly fishing if um if one technique doesn't work, it feels Pretty nice. Uh, typical pan size um, trout in this area. Give him good tuck. Ooh, is it stuck in the wheat? Oh, come on, come out of the wheat. Oh, it came off. Ah, oh, that was a Okay, I shouldn't say that was too big. It was, it was, it was a nice pan-sized one. Um, <laughs> good morning. That was a good start. <laughs> Snapped the line, took my Gibbs Croc spoon, so I got to tie on the other one. But I guess the drag may have been too loose. I, I tend to make that mistake pretty often. Um, and it ran into the weeds down here. There's quite, there's quite a bit of weeds sticking up on the lake bed. Oh. Oh well, well, if there's one, there's another one. So let's tie up another spoon and chuck it out there. Well, I think that's it for the day. Um, the fish have stopped rising now, and um, I'm about to head back to have some breakfast and tea. Um, it was a good effort, though. Um, Spent about an hour and a half just casting and retrieving spoons and for some reason just couldn't land any fish today and well this morning and last night. But um, that's just the way fishing is sometimes. Um, you win some, you lose some. Um, sometimes you can land fish one after another one 
and uh, sometimes you can't hook them low and sometimes like today you just you you just can't keep them on the hook for long enough to land them in your fishing net um, but that's fishing you just not every video that we do um, works out um, like it seems um, but the, hopefully I've demonstrated how um, you can do this type of fishing from the floating dock or from um, anywhere from shore at the lake uh, so when you come to a lake like this um, definitely bring a little spinning rod and a box of lures and you just never know what you get so if you have your timing right fish early in the morning late in the afternoon with the fish when the fish are close to the shore um, have several different techniques um, that you can choose from and uh, look for rising fish um, with the fish are feeding um, that that will those by using those um, options you can definitely increase your chance of catching a fish from shore um, many thanks to our friend Chris for letting us stay at his cabins um, here at Red Lake these cabins are simply fantastic um, it has everything so all we had to do was bring our clothes and food and of course our fishing rods and we're ready to be in the wilderness without having to lose the uh, comfort of, of our home um, if you need more information about these cabins at Red Lake um, we'll have his website at the end of the video and also in the description. Um, the summer is just beginning. Um, there are many, many lakes like this, uh, like Red Lake, that are stocked by the Freshwater Fisher Society BC, where you can catch different types of trout. Um, so get out there and explore. Until next time, good luck fishing.